One thing I really loved about Overland Expo West was the wide diversity of adventure vehicles that were on display. To be fair, many of the exhibitors at Expo offered generic products that could be used on any truck and some of them, such as suspension companies, do offer products that are specifically designed to fit the Nissan Frontier and other Nissan vehicles. But I admit, I did not walk up to every vendor at Expo and ask if they make something that fits my Frontier. This... Do you make tanks for Nissan Frontiers? No, okay. Just didn't seem like a fun way to spend my weekend. Beyond generic items, many of the vendors solely featured products that were specifically designed just for Jeeps or just for Toyotas. So how many of the roughly 427 booths at Expo were dedicated solely to Nissan? That's right, just one. Nismo is Nissan Motorsports. Okay. And uh, we're here today at Overland Expo to launch uh, our new line of Nismo off-road products. We actually started them, started selling them earlier in the year, but we wanted to come out here and kind of raise the awareness about what we're doing. Essentially, show people that there's a you know factory, if you will, there's a Nissan alternative to the aftermarket. We uh, design, develop all of these products with our various suppliers. Right now, we focus on Xterra and Frontier. Uh -huh. both the new truck, which you see here, yeah. uh, as well as the previous generation. We're, we're starting kind of with the basics that we know most people uh, want to go for. And I can yeah, actually take a look. show you here on the parts wall. First thing we, we launched earlier this year are axis wheels. These are 17 by seven and a half. Okay. Uh, higher capacity uh, than the, the stock wheels for the Frontier. Uh, and then we have, this is actually the bumper for the uh, previous generation, so 2005 through 2021 mm -hmm. Frontier. And that's uh, got a winch mount incorporated. Yep, uh, winch like. capable, worn pattern, recovery, recovery points, points, provisions for uh, cube lights, yep. which we uh, sell, and you can even put a 10 inch light bar in there if you want. Oh, nice. Um, so we've been selling these this year, done really well with these, quite popular. Uh, easy and this is uh, truck. three six. Is that three sixteen steel? Yep, three sixteen steel, powder coated. We actually ran a Frontier in last year's Rebel Rally. Oh yeah, with prototype parts, including the bumpers for testing. Oh yeah, cool. And, you know, really punish it, and it was uh, really fantastic results with that. Uh, and then we have our uh, high performance suspension system. So we've partnered with Bill Stein, who are OE suppliers. Uh, you know, on the Pro right on the Proforex, yeah. Right. But we wanted to take that to the next level. So, uh, you know, bigger capacity shocks, um, specific damping for, you know, the off-road use of oh, yeah. these trucks, higher capacity front springs. Mm -hmm. Front suspension will go from uh, stock height mm -hmm. or up to two inch lift. Oh, So, and you good. can adjust it anywhere in between, you know, okay. depending upon the weight you've got on your truck, what you want to do. And then for the rears, we have the uh, remote reservoirs, also with, you know, unique damping for our vehicles for, you know, heavy overland gear, all mm -hmm. of that, you know, added uh, oil capacity with remote reservoirs, better cooling, so, okay. you know, your shock damping remains more consistent. And then we have a line of lights. These are our six inch lights. Uh, driving pattern, four inch driving lights. Oh yeah. We've got brackets for these, for the new Frontier, for okay. the old Frontiers. For oh, you do? Oh. These are just simple bolt onto the hood hinges. Okay. So you guys uh, actually are making a bed rack for the Frontier. Oh, we are, really. We wanted to have like a, a nice, you know, basic ready to go setup for overlanding. So we've got a uh, bed rack. It's a modular design. You can see lots of slots and holds. You can move these panels however you need them. Same thing with the roof rails on top. Uh, and we'll have two two versions. This is the, the tall rack. Mm -hmm. You know, which comes up a couple inches above the cab, and then we're also doing about a you know a half height low rack for those. Like maybe if mm -hmm. you've got the tent, which mm -hmm. is uh, you know we have our new Nismo off road tent, uh, and if you don't want it to stick up for you know better aerodynamics, uh, you do that. But and this all uh, mounts to the Utilitrack system. Oh nice! Oh nice! Slots right in, twists up. Uh, oh, and we've got that's if awesome. If you don't have a utility track, you can also, you know, attach it to the bed top. Modular design, plenty of, of ways you can hook whatever you need to. But is this is this rack just for the new Frontier? No, as a, it's both. it'll actually fit the yeah. the other one. 61B the, and the new 61P. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. 
That's I like how modular that is. And it's all flat pack, you know, quick easy oh, yeah. bolt assembly. We've had a, a, a great reception here for, you know, tons of Frontier and Xterra owners that have come by. Yeah, and said, they're out there. I mean, they're definitely out there. They were really happy to see us in the space because they aren't feeling the love with the aftermarket. And the nice thing about these products is we have an online platform at uh, nismoparts.usa.com. You can also go to your local Nissan dealer and order it there. I mean, Nissan Motorsports has been into, you know, desert racing, off-road racing. Uh, you know, for for years, um, we wanted to leverage a little bit of that heritage and, and get out here and support really the overland market, which is kind of where our focus is. Okay. I think it's pretty amazing that a car company is making off-road aftermarket parts for their vehicles, and I'm impressed by the competitive price of this very nicely designed bumper. Despite a Nissan press release saying that the suspension, ditch light brackets, bed rack, and even a cat back exhaust are all currently available for the second gen Frontier, I have been unable to find them on the Nismo website. I have been in touch with a few people at Nissan trying to find out why these items aren't showing or when they will be online, but I wasn't able to get an answer pinned down by the time I needed to wrap up this video. When links to those products do become available, I will update the description below so you can go take a look. This little glitch aside, I think this is an awesome initiative by Nissan. One of my favorite products at Expo was this super nicely designed, vehicle specific powered dash accessory mount made by Expedition Essentials. Now, they don't make this for the Nissan Frontier currently. I have a detailed segment about this in last week's video, which was just general stuff I liked at Expo. I'll put a link to that segment in the description below so you can go check that out. But if you drive a Frontier or an Xterra and that looks like something that you'd like to have for your vehicle, comment either on this video or the other Expo video so that I can let them know that there is a demand for their product and uh, we can get it put together. And if you drive a Frontier or an Xterra or a Pathfinder, or if you're overseas and you drive, uh, say, a Patrol or a Navara, my friends at Sphere 4x4 do make heavy-duty quarter-inch aluminum skid plates for all of our vehicles, and actually even more Nissans beyond that. So if you're looking for underbody protection, I would encourage you to at least go check them out. Now I'm sure if I had truly dug, I could have found a few more things that specifically fit the Nissan Frontier or other Nissan vehicles. I have to admit that just going up and talking to people at booths is not my thing. Maybe next year I can dig up a little more for you guys. But for this video, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. Out of the hundreds of rigs on display around the expo grounds, I found five Nissans, and two of them were at the Nismo booth. <laughs>